Hey, thanks for checking out my video today, guys. Uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, modified switch docks. As you can see, I have a few of them here. Uh, these are just some of the top ones that I've seen so far that I really like. There's a few more out there, but they're really not even worth getting into or messing around with. These are the top four docks that I've seen. And as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five. Now, two of them are exactly the same. This one's just printed in black and then this one's actually printed in gray. Um, this one here is my favorite dock that the actual switch is mounted in now. This is the best one I've come across. We'll save that one for last. So I just wanna to talk to you about the rest of these. Um, two of these I've already done videos on, so I'll go over them really fast. This is called the Docky. Um, now this one is 3D printed and there's actually a cover that clips onto the side here that can flip over and they're in different files. You can get them where they have the Nintendo logo in them uh, or Switch and different things like that or it can say Docky, things like that. This one was cool. This is the first one I've come across that was a miniature dock. Uh, it still had some inherent issues. Um, the part that the USB-C uh, connector comes up through is mounted solid to the body, which is an issue and then also ventilation was being blocked in the back. Two issues that I saw um, weren't deal breakers, but they were s small issues that I saw. So uh, that's the one. This is a one that you can actually buy on Amazon. Uh, this is called the Bass Top, I think. I'll put a link in the description. This one was $25. Again, very similar to the Docky. Um, as it's, they're almost identical. They're not quite, they're, they are different, but for the most part, they're um, the same. One of the inherent issues with this, again, it's blocking uh, the intakes in the back. About 50% of the air is being blocked. And as you know, when you're playing in um, dock mode, it actually is running the processor at a much higher speed. So uh, you could possibly run into cooling problems with them. Now I haven't, they seem to run okay uh, while it's docked, but again, it's still something to be concerned about. Uh, that one's $25. Uh, and then this is the stock dock, and I did a video on this as well. As you can see, I actually cut the uh, top part off to actually uh, allow the dock to just lift up a little bit and get pulled out. I did a video on all three of those ones. Uh, so the main one I just wanted to show you was this one here. Now the cool thing with this is as you can see the black things in there. Now this is actually taken from uh, from this actual dock here. That's the part, the spring part that the USB type C actually sits down in. It's like a guide for the switch to actually mount into so you can get it lined up really easily and get the, the thing docked in there very quickly. Um, so it did, it took, it, that's what's nice about this one. It took that piece out of the, uh, the stock dock that comes with the switch and you actually utilize it in this little mini dock. Another cool feature about this that all the other ones had issues with is where the wire placement is. As you can see on this dock here, you get your uh, power connectors are coming out the side. So when your switch is mounted in it, as you can see right here, everything's cool, but you also have wires that are coming out the sides of it, which it's, it's cool, but it actually, it would be nicer if the board was turned the opposite direction so that all your power wires came in and out the back of it. That would make a big difference in these docks. Now that's where this one is so nice. As you can see on the back there, we actually have our type C, a USB connector, and then our HDMI. So the main three ports that you'll be using are actually in the back of the dock, which can be hidden easily. So this is a much cleaner approach to the um, miniature dock. Now it's a little bit higher. As you can see, the height of it's a little bit higher. But the cool thing is it's not, it's not quite as long. And when you put it up against the two, you can see that this one is much longer than this one. So we have almost an inch and a half longer. Uh, this one is an inch and a half longer than this one. And this is only about maybe three inches by three inches. If I had to guess, it's pretty much square. And then you can see the bottom there. Um, the other nice thing is it has a reliefs cut in the back here so that when your switch is actually sitting in there, this is where your vents are. And I don't know, it's probably really hard to see there. 
well, no, you can see it on camera there. Um, that will allow air to get sucked in through the sides of this thing and it allows 100% you know, intake cooling for the actual switch. Um, and that's it. Oh, the uh, actual USB type C is actually on a spring. So there's flex to it. I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but I'm actually pushing down on the actual connector itself. So it does have spring to go up and down. So if you are mounting your uh, switch in here and you don't get it lined up properly right away, that's fine. It, it does have spring to it. So it's not going to ruin the connector or ruin the dock or anything like that. So this is the dock to actually have made if you have a 3d printer or you can actually go on some of these sites and order uh, this dock to be printed by somebody they'll print the dock out and they'll ship it to you directly but this is the nicest um, nintendo switch uh, mini travel dock that i've seen to date now, that's not to say there won't be something out in the future but but as of a uh, june 11th 2017 this is the coolest one i've been able to find on the net and i pretty much scoured all the um 3d printing sites amazon and everywhere else i could find for 3d printed docks this is the top dog at the moment so um i, I love it this is going to be my uh, go-to uh, dock for the moment and uh, again you can see that I have all my um, connectors in the back I also have two additional USBs in the front Lord knows what you would need those for but uh, they are there if you do need them so yeah that's it let me know what you guys think um, this could have been printed in a multitude of colors I could have done this in clear I could have done it I have it here printed in um, in black there's the black version of it, red, blue, green, any color I wanted to. Uh, I kind of think the, the, the gray looks nice. As you can see, it sits in there, even with the glass screen protector on my switch, um, it still fits in there just perfect. And it, it holds it into place. It's pretty sturdy in there. So as you can see um, at different angles and everything, it's, it's sturdy in there. So, but um, subscribe, leave a like, comment once i hit um what i say 250 no 500 once i hit 500 likes i'll pick three people and send one of these out um you can even pick what color you want i have probably five or six different colors right now i'll let you pick what color you want depending on what i have in stock i'll print it out and i'll ship it to you uh usa only it's it's pretty expensive for um shipping uh, outside of the u.s if if you're willing to pick up whatever additional shipping it would be I'll I'll happily you know ship it out but I don't want to be paying fifty dollars to ship this out to someone so uh, for the most part just inside the United States again unless again you're willing to pick up the extra shipping cost for it so there you guys go uh, again let me know what you think down below and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching